Hi everyone, welcome to Switched On. My name's Paul, and I've got a real treat for you today. Forklift, the simulation, which has just dropped onto the UK eShop this evening. That's £8.99. It's coming to America on the 16th of July, I believe, so sometime next week. Um, I had a few pounds in coins, so this doesn't cost very much, but I'm a sucker for these simulation games. I love things like Euro Truck Sim and Construction Simulator. Uh, any anything like that uh, is right up my street so as soon as this dropped I was like ah oh, panic quick buy it um, I have reached out to the publishers for a review code but um, well let me show you what this game is because I don't think they'd want anyone reviewing it first off we got this front end basically you've got nine missions and then an endless game if you can clear all the missions you can move on to this endless mode which just lets you pick and pack uh, pallets for as, as long as your willpower will allow so i've just tried this first mission and i can't quite believe what i've played to be honest uh so i'm loading it in let's have a look so straight away it's not a great look i mean this is the uh runs on unreal engine 4 but I mean, straight away, just everything is shimmering. Just awful. Let's move around the uh, camera angles. This is where things start to get really. I mean, look at that pixelization on the graphics. Look at the forks moving on their own. This isn't even the worst of it. I flicked around these camera angles when I first played the game. And the judder in here, I don't know what you technically call it, but it just got worse and worse. And in the end, the whole vehicle was shaking and I hadn't even started the engine. Just sitting here idling. I mean, you can see it's just moving of its own accord. I've, like, it's going to sound weird, but I've tweaked my joysticks uh, on the Pro Controller. It's not me. I'm moving my joysticks now. This isn't like drift or dead zone. Oh, you know, the... The joypad is not responding because I haven't started the engine yet. This is just purely the engine of the game sitting there. And uh, it, it, you know, it's just moving of its own accord. So we started the engine. I've still not touched the joysticks. It, the, the whole vehicle's still juddering. Let's have a look from this outside view. Just have a look at some of, this, some of these physics. I'm going to lower the forks down. The rubber forks. Look at them go. Look at this. Let's tilt the forks forward. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Disappearing forks. Where have they gone? Nobody knows. They've disappeared into the jelly ground. Let's bring them back. There we go. Let's lift the... Uh, lift them up let's try and do this job so we've got to pick this pallet up and deliver it down to the end of the warehouse see the green arrow down at the end there so fairly straightforward fairly simple let's get going no no because the controls are crap using the left stick to move look at the, the rubber rubber forks on this forklift Right, so there we go. We're under the forklift. I want to tilt it back a bit. Pick it up. And away we go. See if we can drive in a straight line down to the end of the warehouse. I don't know why. The, you, you, you touch left and right to steer and the driver just... His viewpoint moves out of the window. I don't want to look out the window. I'm just pushing slightly diagonally I'm not moving the right stick for the camera you've got no control with the right stick but just to like tweak the movement left and right he turns his head out the window right here we go so oh, actually let's put it in this first box so there we go so there's the first one now we've got to get the next one off this rack in behind us Spin it round. Look at the...
folks wobbling around. Look at the folks. Look. What the heck is going on? They're like divining rods. Like trying to find water in the warehouse. So bad. This is. I mean, you talk about shovelware on the switch. This is forklift well. Okay. Going in to get this pallet. Oh, it's some great physics on this rack in here as well. Let me just get the. Uh, let me get it lined up. All right. So we're underneath the pallet. Backwards, lift it up a bit, and let's get it off of the racking. Okay, it's not so bad. This would be fun trying to get a straight line drive. Oh, so just you can't see where you're going. As soon as you try to adjust your line, the camera just swings to the left and right. And you've got no control over the camera. You can't do anything with the right stick. Oh, please let this be over. Job completed. Thank goodness. Oh, and it just dumps you back to the uh, to the to the title screen. Awesome. So mission two. Let's have a look at this. Obviously, I haven't got here. This is the first time I've got through this. There you go. The uh, Haunted forks moving on their own. Now the other cool thing here, which I really love, is there's no way there's to get back to the menu or quit the game. Plus, minus, do nothing. So there's no way to quit this game apart from just going back to your Switch dashboard and uh, and quitting out of it. It's got no options, not a single option in the game. Nothing. All you've got is that little... Uh, list of commands at the top left and that is it there is nothing else you can do absolutely awful all right let's lift the forks and let's get going i mean you couldn't play this i mean i'm i'm playing it really you know half jokingly on this stream i'm pretty peed off at how bad it is but also, I just wanted to make a video just to warn people off it because, um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of people that like these simulation type games. The actual video on the eShop, I don't think it's from the Switch version. We've had problems with this before with publishers. Um, if it is, they've done a really good job of making the game look far better than it actually is. There's no way to uh, side shift your forks as well, by the way. So you've just got to rely on lining up if you don't get absolute seasickness from the way the camera rocks around. Oh, what's happened here? Oh god, there must have been an elephant or something in that box. Demogorgon. Just what is going on? Let's just drag that out. That's fine. Uh, right. I'm not going to play much more. I will just say, obviously, do not buy this game. It is awful. And uh, I don't say that lightly. You, if you've watched any of my reviews, even of bad games, I try and find something positive. Or I try, you know, I'm very apologetic for, for giving bad reviews at because I always try and be positive about games but sometimes there's just no helping games there's a couple of these I've got on the switch of like games like this and I may well do a video of the worst games that I've got because people need to be warned off them somehow I've got that on my forks more through luck than judgment Let's just see where we can dump this off if we don't drop it. Are we going to drop it? Pfft. Don't think I'm going to get the job in this warehouse. 
But anyway, like I say, I'm going to end this video here. Please subscribe if you uh, like these videos and uh, drop me a comment below. Let me know what the worst Switch game you've got. And uh, as I say, please don't buy this one because uh, I'm just going to ram this. Um, yeah, please don't buy this game. It's awful. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.